right, we are starting off with a, a little bit of light rain in the area this midday. We've got temperatures in the 40s right now. Some low 40s actually in some of the northern counties. 42 in Coleman, 43 in Haleyville, 48 in Gadsden. We're close to 50 in uh, Anniston, 47 in Birmingham right now with 49 in Tuscaloosa. And you can see again, not a lot of rain around and it's not terribly heavy. Most of what we're seeing is fairly light on WVTM 13 Live Doppler. There may be a little bit of a heavier shower here and there into western sections of, of Jefferson County and then kind of up the interstate. We're not looking for a lot of rain in the rain gauge today, maybe a tenth, two tenths of an inch of rain, and you can already see as it tries to shift east how some of it is already starting to, uh, to dry up, and I think that trend will continue as we head into the afternoon hours. I would still keep the umbrella close by, though, with some of this rain expected to continue for at least a few more hours this afternoon. So we're going to keep those rain chances rather high. Uh, through at least maybe the middle of the afternoon. And then once we hit the rush hour commute home, I think those rain chances will start to really come down as a lot of the rain should be shifting to the east or starting to kind of dry up a bit. It's going to remain chilly much of the day, though, as most of us stay underneath of the clouds and kind of hang out in the 40s too. Once we head into tonight, there's probably going to be enough low level moisture around that we either get a little patchy drizzle, uh, perhaps even a few snow flurries overnight tonight and into tomorrow morning morning. We're not expecting any impacts from that. No accumulation, uh, just maybe a few flurries flying around to, uh, to kind of during the overnight period as I think by daybreak tomorrow, a lot of the clouds will be gone and we'll see sunshine much of the day Thursday and then another quick little moving upper level system will bring us some clouds on Friday and maybe even a, a spotty shower across some of the northeastern areas. But I think most of central Alabama stays dry on Friday too. So we'll keep rain chances high at least for the next few hours and then Dry Thursday, 20% chance for those northeastern areas, especially on Friday. And then overall, the weekend looks pretty good. Look at these numbers, though. We, we kind of have this roller coaster going on today, 40s. And then tomorrow morning, notice we'll be below freezing. So most spots to start the day tomorrow will be at or below freezing. There'll still be enough wind around that wind chill temperatures are expected to be in the low 20s tomorrow morning. And then we're back into the 60s and 70s and maybe some strong storms toward the middle of next week. Sarah?